XAI's Grok 4 is now the smartest AI in the world. We're gonna dive in right now to what these benchmarks mean and what it might look like going forward for the AI race. Last night, Elon and Co. did not mention the controversial stuff that happened with Grok 3 yesterday, but did premiere Grok 4. With respect to academic questions, Grok 4 is better than PhD level in every subject no exceptions. You can go play with it right now. I've spent some time with it. It is very good. More importantly though, the benchmarks, these are the numbers that AIs use to kind of compare themselves against each other are off the charts. One of the most interesting ones to look at is one that's called Humanity's Last Exam. And if you remember, we have talked about this on the channel before. This is a set of problems that is very, very hard for any AI to get. These are questions that most humans can't answer. And what's amazing about Grok 4, at least according to the charts here, Grok 4 doubled the number on humanity's last exam. That is the number of questions it got right. And I do want to take a second here to just say, this is bonkers. I've said here before, this summer may be a turning point for AI, whether we continue to go kind of off the charts in terms of scaling, or we have a slowdown, this number points to the fact that it might keep going. A couple caveats here, Grok 4 here is using Grok 4 Heavy. That is multiple versions of Grok 4 attempting the same problem and then talking to each other and then figuring out what the best answer is of those. That is the mixture of experts approach that has been around for a bit, but is now being kind of laid into these reasoning models. So that is giving us a significant number. None of this is meant to dismiss the really terrible things that Grok 3 said to people this week, but, this is a sign that quick scaling and size could make a difference in terms of how we get to the next stage of AI. I think you can kind of see this as the first of the next generation platforms. We are soon going to see what OpenAI has in store and Google. There's been some heavy rumors that Gemini 3.0 is on the way, as well as, of course, GPT-5. The hard part is at this stage, I don't know how to push these models in the same way they might need to be pushed, but it does show you that the state of the art continues to move forward.